G'day guys, Josh here, and I want to talk about a pretty serious subject today, okay? So as you guys may have heard of over the week, as I move my chair a bit over, well, there's some, been some pretty, really, really messed up stuff happening, okay? So the first one, let's go through the first one, and let's just focus on the first one, because the fallout after from this first one is kind of, like, embarrassing. So let's just talk about the first up, okay? So first up, as you guys have been noticing recently, there's been kind of a React and TV meta. And I listened to a few people on my stream and stuff like that as well to really get a, a clear view of it, okay? So what happened is that basically Pokey, XQC, Rich, Campbell, and a lot of these streamers are now just basically watching TV shows or chat on their own streams with no licensing or anything like that being really enforced. And this is a very, very bad meta because let's just go through one, okay? One, the legal side of it. What they're doing is illegal. You can't do that without a sync license or many other licenses or anything like that. They have, you have to purchase the license from these people to watch their show. And um, as I listened to Devin and a few others as well, they said that you're in some deep poop. These people don't snap you instantly. They collect the evidence, then sue you. So if they see you break it, you know, more than like 50 times or so, they'll breach you for those 50 times. And not to mention as well, you know, when they do sue you, and they can sue you as well, because all the other times that they couldn't sue people was because they couldn't identify who they were, because the internet ISP stood up to them and said, we're not disclosing our customers' names or anything like that at all, until you pull something, and then the laws of respective countries all change, so that they kind of have to, if they are worth it. And most of the film devs and stuff like that believe that they're not worth it. Now, move to streamers. Pokimane, Disguise Toast, um, XQC, and Rick Cam Rich Campbell are now, first of all, identifiable. And secondly, they're quite well off, okay? And that they are, they, they can become targets. Like, they only, have to, they only have to pay a few lawyers, and they've got a slam dunk case for a DMCA. And then you have to pay them a lot of money. And this is the dangerous cat and mouse game that a lot of these streamers are playing. And now... The reckless regard and the joking attitude about it as well is what puts me off the most, okay? That sort of Sony stream is just brushing it off, being like, oh, 30 day, you know, I'm sad, blah, blah, blah. And I'm sitting there going like, guys, do you realize that if Twitch loses uh, Safe Harbor, then you've fucked over an entire industry, like a potentially entire industry, and you've made so many other streamers' lives so much harder just because you're at the 0.01% and you'll be fine regardless of it, because you know you'll be fine regardless of it, because you just go to Facebook or YouTube and get a contract like that. But for anyone in the mid-tier, you just completely made their lives absolute hell. And I don't like the blatant disregard for it. Like, blatant disregard, the joking and stuff like that. Like, you're joking about the two-day ban. And I'm just sitting there going, like, you guys are in so much trouble. You could put so much trouble onto any anyone else, including Twitch. And also, i got to say, Twitch is uh, Amazon. Could be even looking for an excuse to get rid of Twitch, and this could be the excuse, and they could be waiting to be like, come on, go for it, go for it. And yeah, just realistically, I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm really, really unhappy with it. I'm really unhappy with the uh recklessness and regard the disregard that some streamers are giving to it. In fact, some streamers are still basically still watching TV shows, still reacting to other people's content that they do not have the rights to. Like, this is crazy. Like you are going, you are playing with fire, and you are not going to get yourselves burnt. You're going to burn the entire building down. Like, you're like, you know, playing with, like, gasoline in a hotel filled with people. So what I'm going to say is just react to that. One, it's crap content, okay? Like, you're literally, like, you know, it's going to come to the point where you're going to run out of content to react to. I mean, not, no one's going to watch you react to the same content about 50 times over and over again. It gets stale. And secondly... Second, second, secondly, it's gonna cost people a lot, okay? The people who aren't the 0.01%, but I guess some of these people obviously may not care about that 0.01%, given some of their actions, but you know, you gotta be, you gotta look after them as well. Now, it does not mean you go and harass and hate on them as well, which I've been seeing from some people. It's just like, no, you basically just say, guys, this is, this is ludicrous. Like, it's absolutely ludicrous of what you guys are doing and what you guys are thinking. This is some little thing you can shrug off. It's like, you're playing with fire here. Stop. And that does not mean, obviously, lead hate raids and, you know, be a dick to them generally. That's just like, hey, guys, just check in with your actions. Like, don't, don't ever be like, we represent the streamer community again and then do this 
crazy stuff where you can actually cost people their jobs and their livelihoods and they have to move over to YouTube quickly. They don't know how to get, you know, their Twitch audience over to YouTube because some of them don't follow them on Twitter and stuff like that. No one has like 300k followers like most, it's like someone to get the top two. So please, please don't ruin the fun for everyone else, okay? Now, now, that's number one, okay? Number one. Number two, as I said, it's just poor content, okay? Poor content. I know games are struggling, okay? I know there's not many games to stream, but they are games to stream that you can have a good time on, that you can do collaborative content and stuff like that, like Among Us and a few other stuff as well. I know you could be tired of it, but there are so many games like Among Us now and other games as well that you can have fun with. Like, you know, there's still GTRP, code names. I mean, Jackbox, that's just a few. And I don't use the excuse, oh, it's just, you know, no games come out to blah. There are a lot of games out there that you can, you know, chill with, chat with and stuff like that. Because most of your fans at the moment, I'm going to say, can watch you just play anything, okay? And, you know, I guess, you know, this kind of thing is the new meme these days, this matter of just watching TV shows. Now, I know a lot of people with the channels, you know, they get a free sit there and watch and stuff like that. And, you know, watch a free show with, you know, Gordon Ramsay, the favourite streamer, and stuff like that. I feel like they're a part of the action. But, like, you got to take a standard against it. You can't reward this meta. Like, you can't reward this React meta. You've just got to stop rewarding this React meta. You need to challenge your content creators to actually produce content. But either way, if they don't produce content as well, maybe someone else will come in there and they will provide the content gap that everyone's been missing. That might be the case. But anyways, guys, that's going to be my video for today. I feel like I need to get this one off my chest because... It's just been absolutely ridiculous watching this happen. And then this will go back into my next video with uh, Pokemon, of course, with the hate rate she received. But anyways, guys, you'll see that video in just a few minutes. See you guys later. Peace out.